हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज इंदिरा फ्रॉम डिपॉल स्कूल बरहपुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर मोशन व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू क्लास सेवन फिजिक्स बिफोर वी विल गो थ्रू द लेसन मोशन वी विल डिस्कस फर्स व्हाट आर द की टर्म्स और सब टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस लेसन ओके फर्स्ट इज वट इज मोशन नेक्स्ट वट एवर द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट एंड स्टेट ऑफ मोशन हाउ रेस्ट एंड मोशन आर रिलेटिव टर्म्स वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन वट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेट एंड एट लास्ट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मास एंड वेट बिफोर वी विल गो थ्रू द टर्म मोशन वी नीड टू नो वट आर द टर्म रेस्ट you may have seen all those examples of the bodies or the objects which are either at the state of motion or state of rest now what is a what is a term motion motion means what motion means either it is a related word which is known as movement movement and motion these two terms are related to the change of position of an object if the position of an object is not changed then it is state of rest or it is also known as stationary state or it is known as if the object changes its position then it is known as state of motion so few examples i have noted it down you may have seen all around yourself running athlete otherwise you are running on the track in the playground moving car running train swinging in a swing motion of a pendulum motion of merry go round flying bird a fruit falling from a tree and a football rolling on the ground these are the examples of state of motion and rest when a book which is used or unused it is it it is lying on the table otherwise pen stand a chair tree building television computer chalk duster on the table all these things are at the state of rest or state of stationary state means unless until any external force will be applied to those objects they will not change their position means they are not undergoing some constant motion or constant movement or constant change of position so that is why then these are the two terms which are very related and opposite to each other but these terms are depending upon some terms okay what are those position change of position time and surrounding of the objects okay before that can you say me an answer that can you imagine any object which may not be in state of rest or motion then answer will be no either the object may be in the state of rest or in the state of motion then what can be the definition of the state of rest or state of motion definition of state of rest is a body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to time and surrounding remember that position of the body which is not changed with respect to its time and surrounding what is surrounding which surrounds us the environment which surrounds us is known as surrounding the surrounding or surrounding objects same way if the body is say if the body is changing its position at a particular time with respect to its surrounding then it is known as state of motion so key terms are position change of position time and surrounding if it doesn't change then it is state of rest if it changes then it is state of motion so 
this is the difference between the means state of rest and state of motion which depends upon the change of position okay so next question is is earth is in motion or at rest we know that earth is undergoing two types of motion two types of motion one is rotational motion another is revolution rotational means around its own axis and revolution means around the sun means we know that earth is in motion and are at rest but can you say me that why can't we feel the motion of earth means can you see that earth is in motion or is at rest we we cannot say because we cannot feel it but we know that from geographical truth that we know that motion means earth undergo the two types of motion rotational motion and revolution revolution so let us discuss that why can't we feel the motion of the earth because the mass and size of our body is very very small or we can say it is negligible also negligible means which can be neglected is very small that it can be neglected as compared to the mass and size of earth so that is why we cannot feel the motion of the earth because we along with the earth are in motion but we cannot feel it and this is the reason okay so next we will know that how this terms rest and motion are relative terms relative terms means unless until we are comparing a hot season we cannot feel a cold season unless until we cannot feel a light object we cannot compare the heavy object the same way unless until we know all about the rest the body is at rest or the stationary object the motion cannot be defined in the same way we can discuss in this diagram that how rest and motion are considered as relative terms okay so first we will consider one vehicle or the car which is moving okay so this is the car and two persons are sitting one is sitting in the front seat and another is sitting at the back seat so person a is sitting in the front seat person b is sitting in the back seat okay next two conditions are i have taken three as the c we cannot say that it is a person <laughs> but it is three c and the d d is the observer and which is also person means observer means he will observe he will observe to the tree to these people and to these people so here we are considering two observers one is here outside the vehicle and another is here inside the vehicle so first we will consider the observer the person a or person b the person a is driving so second observer is person b okay two observers observers one is b another is d so first we will discuss the observer which is present inside the car and the car is moving along with the person a okay now what he will feel about he will feel that yes he is also in motion along with a means the car is moving in the particular direction 
and the person B which is who is sitting behind the seat means in the same car but along with the person A both of them are moving okay so he will not feel that the body or the person A is in motion rather he will feel that the person who is standing outside he seems to be in motion and he will feel that tree seems to be in motion but we know that a tree cannot move that is why tree is at rest stationary object and the person d who is standing outside the car and he is also observing the running vehicle that is why the person is also is at rest and only he observes the car is moving so as we know that person along with a means person b along with a they both are in motion along with the vehicle or the car that is why he feels means it seems that the tree is moving and that person is moving who are outside the vehicle but the truth is tree is at rest and the person who is standing outside the vehicle is at rest it seems but it is not the truth okay then now we will discuss all about the observer d means what the person d will observe he will observe that t is at rest if you will compare the movements of the c, c means tree c is not moving and t is also rest and if he will observe the person a and b both of them are in motion okay so if the person is comparing the rest then only he can compare the body is in motion okay so unless until he will compare the object as rest it cannot compare with the object which is in motion okay so that is why rest and motion are more both the relative terms okay the same example that we have discussed earlier that yes the person means we ourselves we are talking about ourselves okay which is staying on the earth he cannot feel the motion of the earth this is a rotational motion but we know day and night can be happened due to this rotational motion but we cannot we can feel the day and night but we cannot observe the motion of the earth okay and that is why this motion but this motion or rotational motion can be seen by the astronaut in space the astronaut which is which they can see the motion of earth okay 